Today's tutorial is all about making an alcohol ink tumbler. This is a technique that I've been trying to perfect for the last like couple months, if I'm being honest with you, and it has taken a lot of work, but I'm loving how they are turning out. Just know that you don't have to do it on a stainless steel tumbler. This is a wine glass from the Dollar Tree that I spray painted white. You can use a ceramic tile or you can use a stainless steel tumbler, but while you're practicing, you may want to pick up some tiles from like Home Depot. They're like 15 cents each. But first, if you are new here, my name is Allison and here on this channel, I post weekly tutorials and do one live weekly demonstration on tumbler making and other crafts and making and selling tumblers. So if that sounds cool to you, make sure you hit subscribe so you don't miss any new notifications. So this type of tumbler just really truly takes practice. I went live a few weeks ago to show a different method and I had been practicing for weeks before that. So I have been putting in a lot of time and energy to try and perfect this technique and I'm still learning. So I just wanna put that out there if you're looking to make this type of tumbler or cup or whatever, just know maybe you're gonna get it the first try, but you may need to put in a little practice and, and you'll get there. So let me talk about the supplies that I use. You're gonna need alcohol. You can use isopropyl alcohol, you can use 91 or 99% alcohol, but that is still hard for me to find locally. So you may wanna use something like the extender or each brand has their own stuff. So like this is called the extender from the Pinata brand. I think the Brea Reese is called blending solution, right? It's basically rubbing alcohol plus a couple other ingredients. And it does behave a little bit differently. It takes a little longer to dry. So you do have more working time with the extender. I actually really like using it, but you can pick this up from any one of the, the different brands. For this particular tutorial, I'm using two different brands. The Ranger brand, this is the Patina color, and I'm using the Pinata brand, and this is Passion Purple. You can do this with any brand ink, any color. They also behave a little bit differently, so you may wanna test different inks out. The other color that I use is the Pinata Brass, which is most definitely the most popular gold that people use, that alcohol ink artists recommend, but you can use um, regular gold or whatever you want. Um, this is the pinata brass. I will put links to everything down in the description box below. I'm gonna walk you through step-by-step step how to make these cups and I'm actually gonna do a couple different demos all in one video and then if you wait till the end I'm gonna show you how I seal it all up with bright tone. For the first demonstration I'm gonna use a 91% isopropyl alcohol and the Ranger Patina alcohol ink. One other item that you will need is a heat gun. I actually turn the heat all the way down on my heat gun so it's really just blowing air so you may have another air source that you can use but you may want to play around with your settings to see what works for you. So before you add your alcohol ink to design you do want to spray paint your um, surface with white spray paint. I personally like the two times clear and I let it dry for 24 hours, and then you're ready to get started. So I am using 91% alcohol here, and I am going to saturate the cup. Um, I'm not gonna go all the way to the top because I'm not taking my inks all the way to the top, but I'm just saturating the cup with this 91% alcohol. You really do want to have something underneath because this does get messy. So then I'm gonna drop in my alcohol inks. Again, this is the Ranger brand, and it's just going to spin a little bit. And now I am dropping the Pinata Brass that I have transferred to this Precision Tip glue bottle. I will link that down below. And I'm just going to take my heat gun and push the inks towards the top and sort of towards the bottom to get them to move around. Um, where you have more concentrated inks is going to be a little bit darker than where you don't. Um, the heat gun does help create a nice little line with the pinata brass, which is just that gold. So if you aren't loving how it looks, you can just keep going till it dries and then you can add layers. So that's the cool thing about the inks is that when you add alcohol, it will reactivate the inks and then you can add more 
alcohol ink, you can add more gold, um, whatever you want, but adding more alcohol to the cup reactivates the ink and gives you more time. So just play around with it. And like I said, it takes practice. So this is at real speed. So I feel like it seems kind of slow because I usually speed these things up, but you do have a decent amount of time and you can always go back over with more alcohol, with more ink, um, and then just keep applying that heat until it is um, dry. Now, I will say that I have turned down the heat on my heat gun, so it is not hot. It's just um, mostly blowing air, but I would say it's like warm air. So just keep going until you like the look. So this is how it looks with the 91% alcohol and the Ranger brand ink in the patina color. In this second demonstration, I'm going to be using the extender plus the Passion Purple, and we'll show you what that looks like. I did take this extender and put it in this precision tip glue bottle as well. You're going to saturate the entire cup just like before. The process really doesn't change. Um, but you'll see I'm using this Passion Purple now, which is a very, very rich purple. It is absolutely gorgeous. If it is too dark for you or too bold or whatever, you can um, dilute it with alcohol or the extender before you apply it. So that's possible as well. So you're going to do the exact same technique, but you will have more working time with the extender. And just like before, you can add more extender, you can add more ink, you can totally just build layers on your inks until you get where you want. Again, you really want to have like towel, paper towel underneath um, because these do drip and you don't want it to get all over a nice surface. So just play with it until it looks like you want it. And in this last demonstration, I'm just gonna quickly show you what the Passion Purple and the 91% alcohol look like because they do look a little different. So I will say that using the 91% alcohol gives you a different look than using the extender. When you first add your alcohol and drop in your purple, it looks like it's gonna be similar, but the ink reacts with the alcohol differently than it does with the extender. And you can kind of see it fades a little bit, looks maybe even a little more blue. Um, so just keep that in mind. I actually think it's beautiful and love the color, but it may be different than what you went into um, thinking it was gonna look like. But this is what it looks like with the alcohol and I'm gonna put it next to this one with the extender so you can kind of see that they just look a little bit different. Let your inks dry for 24 hours and then you can seal with the Kamar varnish spray. This is by Krylon. I got it at Michael's, but I will link it on Amazon down below. Yes, I did get this all over my phone. You're gonna do three coats of this Kamar varnish 30 minutes apart. Just do light coats, three total, and then let that dry for 48 hours. You need to give it time to dry that 48 hours, and then you can add your coats of Bright Tone. I, of course, generally use my finger. You can use your brush, but coat every four hours, and you do want a minimum of six coats. And once you have that six coats, you are done, and it is a beautiful tumbler. I will link up that live that I did before so you can see a different technique. 